So we got a comment from ZG5i on YouTube saying he's been using the Crescent Vortex bit holder and he's been getting better bit life, but he feels like he's losing 30% of the torque on his impact driver. Well, we're going to take this bit holder and we're going to test it with our L1000 impact torque tester from Inertia Torque alongside the impact driver by itself and with a standard bit holder to see how it does. So I've got my Makita XDT16 and we've got a fully charged battery to start with here. And we're going to see just how much torque this thing has adapter alone. This is a uh, Makita XPS impact driver bit. It is a half inch socket adapter that we're using here today. So the method that we're using here is we're going to use four five second bursts to figure out where this thing is going to max out with its torque. And let's make sure that we're in High mode on our impact driver, no assist mode on this one. All right, so just the adapter alone, we maxed out at 54.0, and that is in foot-pounds. All right, for this one, we've got a standard Makita bit holder. Now, it is about an inch shorter than the Crescent Vortex one, so it's not a perfect apples to apples on that, but for the purposes of trying to figure this out, it should be good enough. All right, so get that on there. We've already got our meter back down to starting point here. Fresh battery, full power. Let's see where this one goes. Busted. All right, we're gonna give a standard bit holder one more chance here. And you can see I've had to reach pretty deep in the toolbox. This is the same size as the Crescent Vortex bit holder. Uh, we'll see if it holds up. All right, so we got 21.9 foot-pounds out of that one, and we managed to not break the socket adapter, so that's a bonus. And hey, we pulled out some of the old chip from there. Bigger bonus. All right, but still, 54 foot-pounds, all the way down to 21.9 foot-pounds just by using a standard adapter. So now, let's see. i switch batteries to a fresh pack, first of all. Now let's see what we get from Crescent's Vortex bit holder. Let's check this real quick. All right. And we'll grab another brand new socket adapter here. All right, let's see what happens. Eight point one foot pounds. 
And just to verify, I am on high speed there. So, ZG5i, you're not imagining things. When you're using this bit holder, you really are losing some torque, and according to our test, it's a significant amount. Since we saw such interesting results from our torque testing rig with the Crescent Vortex bit holder, we decided to bring it over to our RSS screw test rig. So we've got the same tool, we've topped off the batteries, and now we're just gonna see is there a major time difference in how long it takes the XDT16 to dry these eight inch GRK fastener RSS screws compared to using the bit holder. All right, <clears throat> let's see what happens. High gear. I'm afraid if I keep driving that, I'm going to blow up the tool. There we go. That's a pretty clear difference. In our torque testing rig, we saw significantly different results compared to using the Crescent Vortex bit holder and not using it. We turned around to our RSS screw feed test. It was a lot different too. We had plenty of speed with the Makita XDT16 on its own, but add the bit holder, and we were afraid that we were going to smoke the motor if we kept driving, and we had a lot left over. So, what does this tell us about the Crescent Vortex bit holder? Is it garbage? Not really. It's just designed for smaller screws. So, when you're installing door hinges and you've got that metal connection coming that you usually snap bits off on and other types of applications like that, go ahead and use it. When you've got these tougher, harder bits that you're using and these longer, wider screws that you're having to fasten with, that's when you need to remove that bit holder, go with a straight connection, or even better, go with an impact wrench. If you have any questions about the Crescent Vortex bit holder or you've got some personal experience that you want to share, feel free to leave that in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching.